I'm going to talk about power. And I'm using power in the sense of physics and engineering, that is to say, energy per unit time. In all kinds of biological phenomena can be expressed in terms of power. So, for example, productivity, uh, even fitness, um, the use of force uh, with respect to time, and so on. And it turns out that if you think about various biological functions and interactions in terms of power, you rapidly come to see that the most powerful organisms have the greatest effect on their surroundings. In fact, they modify their own surroundings, often to their own benefit. Well, I've looked at the geological record of power uh, in all kinds of different ways uh, and integrated it with our own human history, which is also an increase, an, a history of increasing power. And I've come to realize that uh, over the great arc of geological time, so hundreds of millions to billions of years, there's been an overall increase in maximum power that is uh, uh, accomplished by the most powerful entities in the world. I discuss this uh, at some length and will end by saying that humans have now been the first species on earth to create what I would describe as a, an economic and power monopoly with all of the problems that has brought. And so the, the, the lecture will end uh, with a discussion of how we can limit our own monopolistic power. The entire lecture is based on a book that is to appear late next year entitled The Evolution of Power.